my very first owned car, well, it was my boyfriend's 57 Chevrolet, but I felt like I owned parts because I saved my money and he needed a her shifter. So for Christmas, I went and paid $5 down <laughs> and $5 a week at Audi's Charlie Speed Shop and I bought him a her shifter. Well, shortly thereafter, I had to get him a Schieffer clutch. And then Edelbrock, Madam, Edelbrock, Madam Foley goes on and on and on. But uh, that was my first love affair was with his 57 Chevrolet. We still have it in the family. So that was really the first two. But it wasn't my car, it was his. But it should have been mine anyway because I was the one that drove it into drag strip and I was lighter and faster and quicker. So. I got to drive it more than he did, and I fell mad in love with it. But the first car I ever really owned was when I was uh, nominated and won Miss Hurst Golden Shifter, and that was my GTO. That was my first car. It was a GTO with, of course, a Hurst Shifter in it. So that was a General Motors love affair. Yep. Oh, George was a great innovator and a wonderful armed forces gentleman. When we were working together and the war started, the Vietnam War, we formed a, an organization called the Hearst Armed Forces Club. And I, I literally toured Nam twice and I did a lot of shows with Richard Petty and Don Gartless. But George was a Navy man and so was my boss, Jack Duffy. I always called him the boss because he was the PR director. And Jack would include me in all the armed forces shows. I went to fly with the Blue Angels, my Lord of mercy. Could you believe me flying with the Blue Angels? I flew with the Blue Angels. And I I threw up all over the cockpit, <laughs> but at least that made me a great, great soldier, they told me, because if you know it, then you didn't really get the just of the thrust of the engines, I was told, but I got out laughing and smiling, and thank God I had on a jumpsuit, but we would do the ground shows while they would do the air shows, and then at Willis Grove Naval Air Station, I stayed over a, on a Monday, and I got to fly with the Blue Angels, and that started me into to wanting to go more and do more with the Navy, so we did some Armed Forces shows and had Big Daddy Don Gartless on the uh, USS Enterprise run the top field dragster against the jet. I mean, we've done a lot of great things, but we were doing it for our armed forces.